Alright, we are back with episode 13. Uh, hopefully, with our audio problems worked out for the rest of all time. And, uh, so, yeah, let's get back to work. Okay, so... I'm actually just gonna head right back up to that boss. Uh, oh wait, no, no, I'm not. I'm gonna spawn in uh, a merchant. Yes. Come to me. Cause I want to see if I can buy uh, those fire, uh, those things that let me put fire on my weapon. Yes, I can. Okay, I'm gonna buy. Oh wait. Oh yeah, it's gold. Yeah, yeah. Fuck it. I'll buy ten of them. Um. That thing seemed to work pretty well against that boss. I'm also gonna see what charm do I have in there. Light. Oh man, I wasted my. Okay. Um. Hmm. Might raise my attack power for that. Or er, uh, add additional fire damage on top of it already. Hmm. I'll just do attack power since I'm gonna be using the the item. All right, let's go get him. It's interesting how the gold stayed up there, even though the uh, platform disappeared. Right, hopefully, hopefully these guys drop some more of these files here. All right, I reloaded the game, so the books are back. Hell yeah! Blow. Okay, and I think as far as the zone's concerned, I think this is, uh... I think this is still the only way I have to go right now, so... Unless I turned around and straight up just nope the fuck out of here. I think this is all I got. Books are back. Alright, let's, uh... Pop a dagger. Too soon again. Hey, buddy. Man, easiest 1200 salt there is. Can I make it? Okay, now nah, don't don't risk it. <laughs> don't want to risk it. Another stupid falling death. Okay. Oh, god damn! I wasn't paying attention. I'm gonna go ahead and hop on it and write it down. Boosh. Okay. Since I am going with the axe, I wonder if they say anything new or so just full run. And beware of lightning ahead. Okay. Okay, so since I'm using this axe, I can afford to put on some more armor, so I might as well do it. Yeah, give me some more lightning defense. Mm, okay, that would be just a little bit too much. Um, oh, point one too much. Bummer. Okay... Too much, too much. These are good. Okay, more lightning defense. Uh, yeah. Okay. Looks like this is where I'm going. Oh, man, we look serious. Okay, my bread is next to my... My fire. Wait, but why is my pitch fire... Didn't I just buy, like, ten of these? What happened? Did I not hit accept correctly or something? Or, like, what? What is going on? Hmm. I don't know what's up with that. Okay. Maybe I just didn't buy them. I don't know. 
All right, we'll roll in with two. Okay, now all the candles are gone. What is up? Does that mean no one's beating this dude? Hmm. Okay, let's do it. I know it. Maybe I should wait until I actually get in here to fire those off. So I wonder if the time is ticking on my flame that whole time. Uh, Alright, I should be able to get through this without relatively unscathed up until he uh, starts doing the extra lightning damage. Because I could just bait out his lightning attack. Waste all of my flame damage. <laughs> yep. There we go. That's still 50 points a piece, a piece even without the the flames on it. Oops. Okay, let's get a comparison here. Yeah, it didn't look that much different. Ah, I thought I could roll through that. Couldn't. Nice, you got, a, you got a full heal out of that. Oof. Okay. Give me the lightning guy. Okay, that. Okay. Starting to get a, a feel for his tells about when he's doing the different attacks. Shit. Okay, he's, ah, he's upgraded now. That's a bummer. Okay, when does he... I, I need to figure out when he does that electric attack. Shit. Go ahead and block this, and then go ahead and take this. Alright. Shit! Alright, okay. All things considered, not too bad. Jesus. Okay, okay. Shit, I accidentally shield. Damn it, I accidentally parried in the middle there by accident. Fuck me. God. Man, just after that one too now? Shit. Yep, okay. I think we can do this. Shit! Hit this! Oh! No way, it staggered me. God. I'm gonna go ahead and hit this anyway. Just as a buffer. Fuck off! Yes. Yes. Yeah! Let's go! Woo! Alright. That felt alright. That felt alright. We got just enough salt to do what my upgrade I wanted. That that works out. Awesome. Okay, yeah, let's read some shit. Uh yeah, I didn't read anything for the um that last boss either. Okay, so we got Yeah, okay. Ashes of Alasdair, the untouched Inquisitor. Alasdair saw sin in the Dome of Light, and through his unquestionable zeal was able to cleanse the Dome of Sin. In a world so wicked, are not the selfless acts of holy men necessary to allow righteousness to flourish? Okay. And what's up with, uh... Ashes of a Hornet's Steel... Oh, no, this is just a regular enemy, right? One of the Inquisitor's many, uh, many enforcers of his sinless standards. They motivated allegiance to their master's word with the tips of their arrows. Okay, so we're in a very religious zone, it feels like. Uh, what was the thing I just... 
Here it is. Beak of the third lamb, old guard of the dome of the forgotten. A hippogriff who once patrolled the skies, protecting pilgrims uh, to the dome from raiders and bandits. She was made to sacrifice her will in service to the in of the Inquisitor. Hmm. I wonder if a hippogriff is an actual like fantasy trope from like medieval times or something, or if that's just a Harry Potter thing. I have no idea. Um, is it that bestiary? Um, yeah, let's read this for the disemboweled husk. See what... Get anything from this. Shell of the former dread pirate Hagar. Or, yeah, let's, let's go say Hagar. Why not? Uh, he has been disemboweled, and a small doll dwells in his gaping body cavity, controlling his actions like a tiny marionette. I didn't even notice that. Hmm. Okay. The third lamb, okay. A shadow of her former glory, the third lamb is bound and broken thrall of the untouched Inquisitor. There was a time when this hippogriff had pride, the praise of her master, and a name, but the Inquisitor saw sin in these things and saw to it that they became sacrifices like the lamb itself. Ah. The Inquisitor sounds like a real fucking bummer. <laughs> Alice Dare, tr the true priest of light, voice of her voice, uh, the untouched Inquisitor, a holy man who saw sin in what was once called the Dome of Light. He saw to it that the he saw to it that wait he saw to it that that with sin that might be a typo with sin was made sacrifice so that the untouched could flourish. The first lamb was the congregation. The second lamb was Linnea, the Dome's Lady of Light, and the third lamb was Kanoa, her beloved pet. Okay, so er. Kinoa? Yeah. Um, or Kinwa. <laughs> no, Kinoa. Um, okay. So I guess Linnea might be another boss in this zone or something if we're... If we're to see the, the, the second lamb anywhere. Uh, if this doesn't... Oh, maybe this is her. The air is so still. No, not her. It's got a beard. Uh, I was drawn to this dome for reasons I don't understand. It's so lonely here. I long for a friend, but I think I've driven everyone I've loved away. Tell me, have you heard of Hardlight? No. Well then, let me tell you. Hardlight has crystallized moonbeams. Uh, it can only be seen and touched by those that possess a Hardlight brand. Give me that brand, buddy! But even those unable to touch Hardlight will see its traces. I've seen them. You'd like that brand, wouldn't you? Yes. Yes, as I thought. Well, it's as simple as that. Except this brand. My dude! You didn't alienate me! Let's go! Yeah! I enjoy solitude, of course, but you're always welcome to join me. I like to think about how meaningful my actions are. Making real change. That's what I bring to this world. Yeah, whatever. Uh, okay. I mean, you changed... Oh! Ho 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 ho! Oh, if I had died right there, I'd have been real pissed. Why was that not? Why did I not get to walk on that? What's up? Can I only equip like two of these things at a time or something? Okay, a word of power carried in a brand. Uh, bearing the brand grants its owner power over matter. Wear this brand to imbue your torch with light that allows you to render blue arcane matter tangible. Okay. Gots to use the torch. Got it. <laughs> oh, what a disaster that would have been. Okay, everyone here should be dead. No problem. Alright, let's take care of this business. Let's transmutate, let's level up, and get this axe where it needs to be. Yes. Yes, I got enough left to transmutate. Let's do our first transmutation. Of the battle axe to... I could just buy this thing. I don't want to transmutate to it. 
Yeah, even though it is an Evan A scaling, but this thing is even better. The Red Guillotine 3. Let's do it. Some water bubbles. Blub, blub, blub. The red guillotine. Now can I transmutate this <laughs> into something crazy? No, okay, this looks like the, the height of the of the tree here for this thing. Um, yeah, okay. So, yeah, this looks like a lateral move. Done. Yeah, that thing moves pretty quick. Okay, I'm into it. Let's, uh... Well, can we level this up even more now? Where's the blacksmith at? Can we get this thing to level 4? Uh, where is it? Is it one of the ones crossed out or something? No, here we go. Oh, this takes some jawbones. Okay. Uh, but fuck it, yeah, let's upgrade it. Yeah. Can I upgrade it again? Okay, so now I need an enduring skull. Alright. To get that thing to level 5. Okay, but yeah, I feel good about this thing, though. I'll go ahead and drop. Um, drop the gloves and that, because it switched back to my hammer. And I can wear the blacksmith's gloves or something. Yeah. Okay. So back to business. Um, where do we go from here? Because I think... No, we didn't just clear everything out. Because you know what? Yeah. Um... Okay, done. Okay, yeah. What's up with this? Okay. Bye. I'm going to buy one of these. Yes. Yes. Purchase it. Yes. Two of them. Yes. Okay, the money went away. Said two pitch fires added to my inventory. There it is. Okay. So purchasing does work. Okay, I don't know. I still don't know where those horns are that I keep buying, but... So I do remember that I can go this way. Okay, now that I'm out of here, let's actually put uh, let's put the light back on, and let's take the let's put the extra salt back on. Okay. No, accidentally hit R1. Meant to hit square. Yep. Yep. Yep, should have remembered. Oh, get it worked! Damn it. Wanted to execute him, but couldn't take the risk. Okay, and these guys are coming back now. The ones uh, before. Those knights stayed there. Okay, this is new. Okay. We're gonna get a new location here. You look like a bad dude. Or potentially a friend. A bad dude. Definitely a bad dude. Can I ride your horse? shot for the horse. Ah, this, I, don't, I, don't know, I don't know how I feel about that spear. Can I bait you into like a two hit and then come in for the... Fuck me. Trying to get through, buddy. Fuck. <laughs> it's 
just need to get away from that other enemy. I don't want to. I don't want to kite two of them. Dude, this guy. Ah! Okay. All right. I want to try and give it to me. Shit. Okay, <laughs> that's the only way I know how to deal with that guy. Man, these spears are non-trivial. Hey guys, oh, okay, you take more than one. That's bad news for me. Okay. I hear the music. The music usually denotes bad shit's going down. Great pearl. Okay, I don't know if I can get back up here if I go. I always have a bell if I need it. See, there's probably a door up here or something. Yeah, okay. Okay, this looks like a new... It's like pyramids, man. Okay, I'll check this out first. See, I can double jump that. Alright, okay. Oh, is this the ruins that uh, I peeked at before? Uh, okay. Oh, okay, it's a guy. Wearing a hat. Okay, two strikes with this thing, that's not bad. Investment paying off so far. Man, okay, hold on. Let's let's see if we can put on a ring to give me even extra light. Okay. How's this light without this? It does feel like that gives me a boost. It does feel like they're combining. Yeah, okay. I'll, I'll rock both of these. Blood brow barbrut. What's up with the bladed plate and leather armor? The Blood Brow were a secret society of uh, arcanists from a time when beasts were a more serious threat to man. Uh, the society fell into obscurity shortly after an inspiring lord tried to repurpose them into a personal brute squad, sending them to hunt supposed witches who in reality were merely political rivals. Okay. Arcane defense. Alright. Wait, is that really just the wall? Okay. Hey, buddy. The cave keepers. Cave keepers ain't shit. Okay, so now is this something with a torch that I can actually interact with? No, okay, so... Man, okay, so the red walls are yet another... Obstacle I need a brand for, okay. Alright. It's getting hard to remember where all these obstacles have been. I have to do like a run through at some point or something. Can I sneak by there? I'm just gonna go to the top of this pyramid and see if there's anything, because inside looks a little scary. This thing's tall. Jeez. Jeez. Okay, made it. <laughs> to what end? 
Why did I do this? What are you? You look pretty serious. One ninety two damage on him. That's not too bad. Okay, two hits. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Bag of Earth. I got the bag of Earth. That's what my dude was looking for way back where- Okay, so I have a few excuses to head back now. Let's go ahead and read that. Um, is that like a key item? Yeah. A burlap bag of black earth. Its class looks to be made of precious metals and minerals, so why are its contents so common? Okay. Don't know where uh, that's going to lead me, but. Another trip down into the ruins. Another red wall. Okay, I don't want to fuck with that yet then. Just going to keep pushing the boundaries out here. So that ring on the eye. That looks like a big rib cage. Oh, what are we heading into like the land of giant dragons or something? This and the, yeah, these steps kind of look like a spine. The far beach. Is this like the other side of the island? From where I fell in. Okay, so the cave right there. A little reflection on top of the water. Godspeed, friend. Afraid for you, friend. Okay, so there's like a bomb ass boss out here. I'm gonna fight the Kraken again. I don't see any candles though. Oh, hey. Uh, what's up? Safe passage around the bay. Do we venture west, friend? Uh, so what? Is this gonna take me back to the, the shimmering shore? That would be pretty cool. I want to say no at first. Next time. Okay. Ooh. I'm going to take a peek down this cave and then probably take this guy's round trip back around to the beginning. I'm hoping that's what it does. Unless it's just going to take me to like another island with a whole bunch more shit to do. Maybe that's what it does. I don't know. Oh, nice. A sanctuary right here. That's good news. Um, hopefully I have a guide available. Boosh. Okay, put a guy down. Fast travel here. Okay, I'm gonna try this one more fucking time because I don't know how many times I've tried to buy this thing. Yes, I'm gonna buy two just so I know what to look for. Two of them. Yes. Buy two calling horns. Yes. I saw the money leave. I have two calling horns. Can I actually see them in my inventory now? Yes, they're there. What the fuck was I doing the last time I tried to get these things? Did I just not buy them? Like, whatever. I don't know. Okay. This goes also down into the ruins. Okay. So this is a pretty sizable area I can explore at some point. I'm going to go out and take a boat ride and see what this does for me. I don't know why those platforms are telling me Godspeed and whatnot. Making it sound dangerous. Let's go, buddy. Yep. Round we go. Fade to white. Dun dun dun. Is this the Shivering Shore? Oh no, Fort Beyond the Mire. Okay, this is a totally different place. How good are you guys?
Okay, one jump will do it. Check out this room before I move on right away. Chest up there. Oh, that, I, I thought that was like a tapestry. I was going to jump through it. Okay. Uh, first things first. Yep. A boatman's waragi is Sugisaga or something? I don't know what. Okay. Raggy tatters of an ancient boatman. Some light armor. Okay. Do any of these other things give me any insight as to what that dude's stuff is? Frayed head wrap and sedge. What is a sedge? Sedge hat worn by an ancient boatman covered in uh, tangles of rotten seaweed. Okay, so I guess just that boatman dude's attire. Okay. What is that? Oh, it's a gravestone. Okay. Man, I totally thought that boat guy was just going to take me back to the the other side of the island. This, this might have more to... Okay. Oh, there's a sanctuary. And it's my... Oh, it's the Iron Guys Sanctuary. My dudes. Okay, I'll get that later. Yeah. Hey, guys. What up? Nah, I don't need shit, buddy. Just glad to be here. Let's level up. Okay. Um. Yeah. Let's hit the. Let's hit the tree. Hmm. So now that I know, I, I like using these short axes and stuff. So they generally seem like the fast option for a high strength character. I might want to make my way over to this class five berserker. Uh, wait, oh, that's a class... Okay, class four is right there. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and start making my way there. Uh, so just in case I get some super high-level versions of those, I might want to wear. Okay. Um, and I'm gonna take off that ring and put on... Uh, the salt ring. I'm gonna call that an episode. 32 minutes, it's not too bad. Let's explore some... We got some options now. Okay, we got the inside of a pyramid. We got the lower part of the ruins. Uh, we got a new torch mechanic we can go back to the to the beginning of the game and and sort of futz around with a little bit we got a boat guy that's i don't know what's going on new sanctuaries all over the all over the world all right this episode's in the bag i will see you next time